turn off the garage. Okay, turning the garage off. Turn on the garage. All right, turning the garage on. Okay, turning off the garage. Got it, turning on the garage. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how I did one of my first projects and that is installing an LED light bar in the lower grill of my Honda Fit. It looks stock looking, which is why it was one of my first things I did. This is an 18 inch Nylite light bar. It was $25 with the wiring harness and shipped at the time. I think it's about $40 now. You'll notice that I do have a zip tie on each side. That is not what's supporting the light bar. It actually is mounted to the lower plastic. It is quite strong and durable. There's like a waffle cone injection molding inside of the plastic so it doesn't bounce around it's actually the mounting hardware that the light bar mounts to like the cradle it's not mounted on the sidebars like most light bars it's mounted in a cradle that's in the center and that actually came loose after some road vibrations so i zip tied that to keep it straight not from shaking i know this light bar is for off-road use only you can see if you leave your plate on the front of the car, it blocks the upper row of LEDs. This actually comes in handy because then it illuminates the road and it doesn't blind the person in front of you if you choose to drive with it on. First thing you want to do is remove your license plate. Loosened it up. Missing a bolt there. new scissors all right now with the license plate removed all you got to do is reach in the waffle grill and pull forward when I first did this I removed my whole bumper and I didn't need to do that so save yourself the time you're gonna see my light bar here and then I have the PA speaker installed from my other video so obviously you're not gonna have that so just stick your fingers in pull back Look at how easy that is. Once your front lower grill is popped out, you're gonna see about five tabs, one on each corner, and then there's three more. You're gonna to need to pop that out. Don't worry about it, look at I'm doing it with one hand. Nothing's breaking. One, two, Three in the center, four, five under the PA speaker. And I'll bend this down, and there's one bolt or one screw. We're gonna remove that, and this whole front piece should come off. Oh. Well, I just broke the tab that the screw was mounted to, but that shouldn't make a difference. With the five tabs removed and the screw removed in the back, or if you broke it off like I did, you should be able to take this out. Obviously, you're just gonna have this plastic piece. And I used the stock mounting hardware it came with, two bolts, drilled two holes through the plastic, put the nuts on the back. I would probably get some stainless steel hardware if you can. And then this is the cradle mount I'm talking about. It tends to vibrate loose. As you can see, there's one of four bolts in here. This one still has all four. And that makes the light bar kind of tilt back and forth while driving. Other than that, 
it stays solid just on the plastic itself but that is why I zip tied it on the front to prevent it sliding back and forth in the cradle mounts that it came from. Some other light bars you see they mount on the side with allen bolts. Those might be better but uh, for the price I couldn't beat this one. Mm -hmm. This is also after a year and a half to two years of use. Looks like this is corroded a little bit. I live in Chicago so we get a lot of salt but uh, I've had no condensation issues on the inside whatsoever and this side looks pretty healthy. And I ran the power cable up through the bumper behind this plastic and then it pops out right at the light bulb. And then I just tuck the wires back in there for now. If you're gonna install this, I would recommend getting a quick disconnect and installing it in the cable. That way, whoever's gonna work on your car, or if you wanna work on your car later, you can just quick disconnect it. Maybe you wanna put it up here, so when you take off the whole bumper, you could take it off in one piece and not have to worry about unbolting the two bolts in your whole front end here. So I'm gonna get this back together and then show you how I ran the power cable through the firewall. Make sure you're getting all the tabs and you should not have an issue. Just like that. Got it. Turning the garage off. So the LED power wire comes up here and then you can see it's got a bunch of extra wire for the wiring harness it goes to the switch goes to like a, its own fuse and relay I just have that bunched up and tucked down here I got three wires coming off my battery one for the lower light bar one for the upper light bar and one for the auxiliary power inside the car eventually I'm gonna run its own fuse and like distribution block but for right now I got three wires so the power cable coming from the wiring harness, obviously wire it to your power source. The ground cable I also have going to the ground in the car. And then the rest of the wiring harness for the on off switch, I ran up and around the corner. This part's pretty clean. And then I have it going through the firewall. I have another video of how I ran the power cables through the firewall, so I'm going to skip over this to save some time. But I ran the power cable up and around the top, unraveled the tape around the wiring harness that was coming through the firewall, and then shoved the power cable through the firewall, and then taped it back up. Alright, so the power cable came in through the firewall. I ran it up the side here. We're just going to pop out this panel real quick. Um, I probably have a dangly wire or two. I need to clean that up. Probably should remove this first. Make it easier. All right, so I just ran the cable up through here. And then you can see I got three switches lower light bar, upper light bar, and then my radar detector. Um, these were not the switches that came with the light bar. Wiring harness, uh, these were my own switches just so I could have them all look the same.
just in case you're curious, white at the bottom, black at the top, red in the middle. And then when I push it on, it lights up. Upper light bar, radar detector. X band, K band, K A band. And that's how I wired this up. So that's how I installed the 18 inch LED light bar in the lower grill of my Honda Fit. My only complaint was that cradle mount tended to slide loose. Maybe I would suggest the side mount LED light bars. And honestly, since I got LED headlights, the LED light bar in the grill is not as noticeable, especially with the front plate on, but it actually does project farther than the headlights. And then if I turn off the headlights and turn on the lower LED light bar, you can see a sign reflect from further away than you can in just the headlights. So other than that, for the price, and I've had it for two years, it's past the warranty, but like I said, I had no fog issues or condensation issues. Um, it looked like there's a little corrosion on the right side, but other than that, like it still holds up. And I'm gonna get showing you how I did the upper light bar.